Hi, welcome to this Stair Tailored. I'm Sarah Powell from the University of Texas at Austin, and today we're focused on adding fractions that have like denominators, and we are going to use the length model of fractions. What's the length model of fractions, you might ask? Well, the length model of fractions is that we can show any fraction according to its length. We often think about using this with the number line, but we could also use the Cuisenaire rods, and today we're going to use the fraction tiles. So let's see what this looks like. We are going to add the fractions 1 sixth and 4 sixths. So let me show you what this looks like with the fraction tiles. So we have 1 sixth and 4 sixths. That's kind of hard to say, isn't it? All right, so I'm going to show 1 sixth here. I'm going to set up my hole and show 1 sixth of the length. Remember, this is 0 and this is 1 according to a number line. And then I'm also going to show 4 sixths. I'm going to set these up as uh, two different add-ins because that's what they are. So I'll show each of the add-ins there. So I have 1 sixth and 4 sixths. Now to add them together, I'm going to add the parts of the fraction. You really need to emphasize that. So I'm going to take these four 1 sixth parts and I'm going to add them to 1 sixth. So when I have 1 sixth plus 4 sixths, our sum is 5 sixths. And I could go ahead and write that right here. It's always nice to write the abstract form of the number uh, when we are working with a concrete model like these fraction tiles. So that's an example of adding fractions with like denominators with the length model. Tune in to see how we can do this with the area model of fractions and how we can do this with the set model of fractions.